what up what up y'all it's boss angel i am back with another video so today i actually want to talk about some tips on how to execute so y'all know i talk about setting goals for yourself and knowing what the vision of your life is and knowing what you want i talk about that all the time but in this video i actually want to talk about executing because um you can set a goal for yourself all day every day but at the, but ultimately if you don't have a strategy and a plan for how you're actually going to achieve it and how you're going to execute then it's kind of pointless and i can only say this because i know from personal experience like i'll spend an hour planning out my schedule planning out my week and everything will look so good when it gets on paper but at the end of the day when i wake up on monday morning it's up to me on whether i'm gonna get out the bed on time and whether i'm gonna do what i wrote down that i actually know i need to do but either physically i'm not feeling it so i just won't get out the bed on time or mentally i'm just not in the mood you know it's just so many different factors that play a role in me not executing so hopefully um you know these tips that i've learned from other people sharing their execution tips with me and from also what works for me it can help you be a better executor number one is going to be to determine how bad do you want it i mean you can sit down and you can make a plan like i said but how bad do you really want it how bad do you need to get the things that you wrote down done so what i do every morning when i wake up i you know pray meditate spend my time with god but then right after that there's this section on my planner where it says um today's top three and I write down like the top three things that I absolutely have to either work on or get done that day. So that kind of helps me to prioritize and kind of put things into perspective on what's the most important thing to get done. So I would just say prioritize. What, how bad do you want it and prioritize which things are the most important that you get done that day. Number two, for me, I have to write in my planner. If I don't sit down on Sunday night or sometimes early Monday morning, it works best for me when I do it on Sunday either Saturday or Sunday. Um, if I don't sit down and plan out my whole week, like from, I'm gonna get up at eight, from eight to nine, I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna spend time with God. From nine to 10, I'm gonna do this. And from 10 to 11, like if I don't get up, if I don't plan out every single week, like in every single day like that, my mind and my thoughts are just kind of scattered. And I even go, I even go as far as planning out um, when I'm going to, spend my me time when I'm gonna rest when I'm gonna clean up um, hair nails like I, I schedule all of that into my schedule um, bills that's one thing that that I think about and when I'm planning it out I have to think like okay when am I gonna feel like doing this like when am I going to be in the best mental capacity to sit down and do my budget and do my bills so that's that's a biggie because you have to know where you are like I know sometimes I have I schedule a creative day and there's no way that I'm gonna schedule a budgeting bill analytical session on the same day that I schedule my creative photo shoot film day because they just don't mix to me I would say just be mindful on what you can do like be mindful on where your capacity is and what you can do and what you can tolerate so definitely sitting out and planning your schedule is very, very important. Number three, and this is a tip that really works for me, is you have to plan it out in increments. Like don't put anything that's too overwhelming on your on your on your planner or on your schedule. Split it up, break it up. Like for me, putting on my putting on my planner, make 20 shirts for the inventory. That's that's too big of a task for me. And if I look at it, I might get overwhelmed and just not do it at all. So I have to just break that up. Instead of putting make 20 shirts for the inventory, I'll put um, maybe separate, separate the shirts by color. And then I'll put label and tag each one of them. And then I'll put print out the letters for each of the shirts. You know, just little progress and just like breaking it down into steps and putting the steps on my planner instead of just putting the whole big old task because I know for sure like if I have a big task and it looks intimidating or overwhelming I might choose something else over it 
you know, like something that's less intimidating and then I just won't get it done. So just think some progress is better than no progress. So if you can break it up into little steps and you have step one done, at least you could say, hey, I finished some of it today. I got started on it. And then get step two, put step two on the planner as well. So, you know, for me, I have to just break it up and I have to be realistic with myself about what I be in the mood for and what I'm not in the mood for. Like, it's just certain things that I'm not going to put on my schedule on certain days because I just know that I'm not going to do it. So don't put nothing on your schedule that you just know you're not going to do just because it looks good or it sounds good. Like, no, you know you're not about to wake up at 6 a.m. and I don't know. Just just be real with yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Just keep it real with yourself. Just write down all the times that you got a victory from being diligent and being disciplined and just doing something every single day. Like, I'm going to give you all an example. Um, I used to email stylists every single day. I would spend an hour every day and I would email different fashion stylists that were in the industry and I would be like, hey, you know, my name is Angel. I make clothes. Like, here's a couple photos for such and such artists that you style. I think that they would look great in this. You know, I look forward to hearing from you. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. And I would just send them every day, no matter what happened. I would just send them. And one day, Keisha Cole's stylist called me and was like, hey, um, I need you. I missed my flight. She don't got no clothes. I need you to come through and I need you to bring some of your clothes. And so... I wrote that down on a list of victories because me just getting up and taking that hour every single day to email stylists and to just reach out to them no matter what, no matter who wrote me back, no matter who said something smart, none of that. I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And that's one thing I want to say and I want to encourage all that. Hard work does pay off. Like diligence and discipline pays off. That's a key principle. So. You know, just doing something every single day. I, I definitely highly, highly recommend for you to write down the times where your diligence paid off. Because we all have those victory stories. Like, where something that you did every day paid off. Whether it was financially, whether you got that connection that you finally wanted to get. Like, just, just think about those moments and write those down because they will encourage you, I promise going forward and they will give you a reason to be like you know what i might be tired but i'm just gonna keep going because the last time i determined that i was gonna keep going something good came out of it so definitely just keep that in mind and i would say the last thing is to reward yourself like you work hard you you work hard you determining i want to do something but to better myself that's huge a lot of people don't have that in their mind that they're gonna better themselves or that they're gonna do something to improve or they're gonna start something so definitely realize that you're doing something that a lot of people don't have the discipline and the determination to do so reward yourself for me I like to eat so my reward is always like okay if everything goes well and if I do what I'm supposed to do I'm going to take myself out to, to eat somewhere real good, like some good soul food or something. Or like this week, my reward is the beach. Like I worked really hard this week. I got everything that I was supposed to do. I pretty much touched everything on my to-do list. Um, so I'm going to the beach tomorrow. That's my reward. I'm going to have a beach day. So that is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.